welcome to my youtube channel please like comment and subscribe the LHWCA disputes if you are denied benefits by your employer's insurer they are claiming either that you are not oil or injured on that your injury or illness did not result from being on the job another situation in which you may be in dispute over benefits is when your employer offers compensation but you disagree with the amount or extent regardless of what of what the dispute is if you and your employer are in disagreement about your benefits your claim goes to the office of workers compensation or owca within the department of labor the owca cp will try to resolve the dispute through an informal conference or an official hearing and then next about the informal conference the first step in an LHWCA claims dispute is to go through an informal conference through the OWCP. You can request this step if you believe that your claim is valid and that your employer is not providing adequate compensation for your injury or illness. You must complete the appropriate from and submit it to the OWCP to be given an informal conference. The purpose of the informal conference is for the OWCP to review your case and give a recommendation to your and your employer's insurer. It is an attempt to settle the dispute informally and to avoid the need for a hearings once you and your lawyer have requested an informal conference you will have a couple of months to gather your medical records accident reports wiggle records and any other documents you need to make your case you do not have to attend the informal conference only low only your lawyer does a lawyer with experience working on this kind of claims should be able to present represent and you and your best interests during the conference or claims examiners from the owcp will review your case and look at evidence from both you and your employers this examiner will end the conference with a recommendation if the recommendation is that you should receive your benefit your employer's insurer may decide to abide by the decision but they do not have to do if they disagree you can take your case to a formal hearing with an alg and the next about the pre-hearing press if you decide to continue your claim process the next step is to submit a request for a formal hearing you or your lawyer must submit a pre-hearing statement to the OWCP and to all other parties involved the OWCP will refer your case to an ALG but it can take several months to go from an informal conference recommendation to a hearing during this time called the pre-hearing or the discovery period you and your lawyer will put together all the information needed to make your case in front of the ALG your employer and their insurer will be doing the same during this period this may mean gathering all your records taking the portions 
interviewing with witnesses or making requests to your employers for document or answer to necessary question. And the next about the hearing. The formal hearing with an ALG is a chance for you and your lawyer and your employer's representation to make a case to the judge. There is no jury and the judge makes the final decision about your claim based on the evidence here from both sides. The judge must consider several factors when coming to a decision such as whether or not your injury or illness resulted from your work, whether you were injured prior to a work incident, the seriousness of your injury or illness, whether you receive proper medical care and how much you earn before the incident. And then about a longshore and harbor workers compensation is hearing. The longshore and harbor workers compensations is or LHWCA is in place to provide certain types of maritime worker with a worker's compensation plan. If you qualify under this law as a longshore and harbor worker, you have access to compensation in the event that you are injured or become ill. Because of your time on the job, there is no need to prove negligence. You are simply entitled to this compensation as long as your illness or injury happens at work or resulted from work that is. In many cases, injured or ill workers do not have to fight for this right to compensation. The employer's worker's compensation insurer simply pays what is on However, you may find yourself being denied these benefits by your employer or employer insurer. In this case, you can file a claim with LHWCA. The ultimate decision as to whether you get benefits and who you receive is determined at an official hearing in front of a federal administrative. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give like, comment, and subscribe.